Spring Activities to Do with Your Family. Spring Egg Balance with Miss Sarah. What you need, something to balance, such as spring eggs, socks, and or a ball, and a spoon to balance the object on. Hi everybody, what a beautiful spring day. So I thought I would come outside and share one of my favorite spring activities with you. So this activity is a spring egg balance. So some things you're gonna need. You're gonna need an object to balance. So maybe a spring egg, a big large spring egg, or a small spring egg. You can also use a ball or socks. So really you can use anything you would like to balance your spring egg. Then we're gonna need something to balance on. So there's different kinds of spoons you can use. You can use more of a ladle type spoon. You can use a flat spoon. Or you might use a bigger spoon with the egg taped on top, depending on your balancing skills. So today I'm going to use a medium egg and a ladle type spoon. So the first part of this activity is just to practice balancing the egg. So I'm gonna balance up high, and I'm gonna balance down low. Try not to drop that egg. If you drop it, that's okay. You can pick it back up and try again. So I'm gonna balance up high and balance down low. When I have that down, I might try to go from side to side and I might switch hands side to side when I have that down maybe I want to try to take my egg behind my back and to the front of my body that's a little tricky behind my back and in front of my body once I have all that down and I'm I've practiced balancing my egg now it's time to move so I'm gonna walk forwards trying to balance my egg and I'm gonna walk backwards and try to balance my egg. I can walk in a diagonal. I can walk backwards in a diagonal and I can also try turning in a circle. So that's the first part of the activity. The second part would be to get a family member, sisters, brothers, moms, dads, and practice an relay race. Now this is a fun way to get a little competitive with your family members. So everyone's gonna need a spoon, everyone's gonna need an egg. The starting point will be the same. You say on your mark, get set, go, and you balance your egg to the end point. You turn around and come back. Whoever makes it to the finish line, still having, still having their egg in their spoon, is the winner. So that's the second part of the activity. The third part, let's say all your family members are busy, but you still wanna practice some egg balancing, you can give yourself a bit of a challenge. Maybe balance on some body parts. Balance on your arm, maybe on your hand. This one's kind of tricky. I don't even know if I can do it. Maybe balance on your head, on your shoulder. So there's all kinds of body parts you can practice balancing with. I hope you enjoy your spring egg balance and I'll see you next time. Bye. Spring egg catch with Mr. Phil what you need, something to catch, a spring egg, ball, or socks, and a place to play. What's up guys? Today we're gonna to be working on a spring egg catch. So today I have a modified egg that's pretty big, but you can use any object or ball, like a tennis ball, or even your socks. 
So today we're gonna to start off with the two hand toss. We're gonna to start off with two hands, toss it up, catch it with two hands. Try it again. Two hand toss, two hand catch, good. After that, try it with one hand, toss it with one hand, catch it with two hands. Try it with your other hand. One hand toss, two hand catch, good. After that, try to do one hand toss and catch it with the same hand, and then one hand toss, catch it with the opposite hand, and then use your other hand. Same hand opposite hand to catch. After that, see if you can catch it at different levels. Try to catch it up high, try to catch it in the middle, try to catch it as low as you can go. Alright guys, have fun and stay healthy. Spring egg dyeing with Miss Pat. What you need, hard boiled eggs, an egg dyeing kit, and creativity. Miss Pat had a great time dyeing spring eggs with her son Price. First she had to hard boil eggs, then she had to get a kit, and she had to, they had to add vinegar to each dye color to make a dye. Look at all of these beautiful spring eggs and spring basket. What color did you dye your spring eggs? We hope you enjoyed the spring activities Please take pictures and videos and share in the comment section or email. We would love to see you.